Hey guys, Ash here from c 4 Tech, and in this video I'll be showing you how to flash a custom recovery onto your Sony Xperia Z1. This is applicable to all variants of the Sony Xperia Z1. So the prerequisite here is that your bootloader needs to be unlocked. So if you haven't done that already, you can check out my tutorial on how to get your bootloader unlocked. You can find a link to that tutorial right below the like button in the description. So guys, right now the first thing you do is on your Xperia Z1, quickly go into settings, about phone and check out your android version okay and also check out your build number so as you can see my build number ends in dot 290 so guys right now click on link one from the download section in the description that will take you to this thread on xda developers forums so over here just scroll down and you can see that uh the version that you need to use for the firmware you have so mine ends in dot 290 so i can use v04 or v05 so let's choose the latest one that's v05 and download it so here it is doom kernel v05 so click on it so guys say for example you have a dot five three four you cannot flash v05 or v04 it will cause endless boot loops so just make sure that you flash the kernel relevant to your firmware or if you want to upgrade you can do that upgrade to the latest firmware and then flash it i have a tutorial on how to do that as well i'll leave a direct link to that right below the like button too so right now if, uh, let's download this to xperia z1 so guys i've downloaded doom kernel v05 i'm downloading it right now uh, clicking on link to from the download section in the description will get you this file fast boot with android usb so uh right click on it extract it clicking on link 3 will get you flash tool drivers so go ahead install this so over here just scroll down make sure flash mode and fast boot drivers are installed so guys if you're on windows 8 or windows 8.1 uh, you might see a red x over here and saying status failed in that case quickly slide over select settings change pc settings update and recovery recovery restart now so now select troubleshoot advanced options startup settings and hit restart so once your pc boots back up make sure you hit number seven disable driver signature enforcement so guys once you're back up make sure you reinstall flash tool drivers and this time it will get installed so guys right now go ahead back up everything on your xperia z1 we will not be losing apps and data but still it's always better to be safe so back it up turn off your phone so once your xperia z is off hold up volume and plug in the usb cable all right so right now head on over to the fastboot folder hold shift right click and hit open command here command window here so over here type in fastboot devices and you will see some something like this show up if you don't see anything if it just the command prompt just returns back it means you don't have your driver set up properly so go ahead get your drivers set up uh, what you'd probably have to do is hold windows key and x that's windows key and x hit device manager and over here find out your android device right click update driver software browse and let me pick and make sure you choose the fastboot interface okay this will show up as long as you have installed the drivers like i showed earlier all right so once that's done right now go back so now I've right click on doom kernel and extract here so you get a boot file over here just copy it go into fastboot paste it so now I've open up and um, go back to command prompt type in fastboot flash boot boot dot img and hit enter once it's done hit fastboot reboot and hit enter so now your xperia z1 will reboot so uh it will take a few minutes just wait for it you'll see the doom kernel logo so guys we are up here so we will have a custom recovery and uh, just to show you that 
let me flash super hd.zip from recovery so in in case you're not rooted right now you just have an unlocked bootloader with a custom recovery you can also follow this link for will take you to this page on xda developers forums so from here just click this and uh hit download update it super su so save it copy it paste it anywhere on your xperia z1 so now let's quickly go back to the xperia z1 so guys on your xperia z1 uh i'm sorry just turn it off so guys once your phone is off just uh turn it on once you see room kernel display just tap up keep tapping up this will put you into your custom recovery so scroll the volume keys will double for navigation power key for selection so select install zip choose zip from sd zero slash and select update super su hit yes install that's done so now go back reboot system now all right guys we're up so just to show you we have super su nav and the custom recovery seems to be working fine so i guess that's pretty much it for this video on how to flash a custom recovery onto your sony xperia z1 so hope you guys found this video useful if you did make sure you hit the subscribe button and also give this video a thumbs up so once again that's pretty much it guys thanks a lot for watching and i'll catch you guys soon in the next one till then this is ash here from c4e tech signing off you guys have a great day bye bye now